Let's see, he's recording plus one, so go. All right, Pop, we're live. Greg Pickle, you would not believe this. This was a total shock to me. I know it was a total shock to you, but Manny Bowen, the former Penn State linebacker, is now a current Penn State linebacker. I don't know how many lives Manny Bowen has at Quite Penn State, but a cat's got nine. Manny Bowen ha might have more than a cat. He is back on the team, reinstated. Um, they don't necessarily have a plan for him, but what were you? What did you get from both James Franklin and uh, Brent Pry talking about Manny Bowen and kind of the big picture with him now at a position where they need some help? Yeah, uh, Penn State Media Day set the scene there, and it's where we learned it. As you mentioned, James Franklin's back. Or, uh, Manny Bowen's back on the team, according to James Franklin. Bob, I don't know about you. I came away wondering what exactly the next step for Manny Bowen is. So he's back on the team, and there's a lot of talk about graduating in December, Ember. but there's not really a plan for him on the field. Brent Price says he's not planning for Manny Bowen right now, but he's out there coaching up and mentoring the young guys. Greg, remember that two weeks, less than two weeks ago, James Franklin didn't even basically acknowledge Manny, well, he wasn't Bo on the roster Manny Bowen's presence on the earth. Right. So <laughs> plans tend to come together quickly depending yes. on need. I thought they threw out the graduation thing as the number one priority because it kind of looks really good, and it, right. and it probably is true. But the fact of the matter is, Greg, that linebacker is one of their biggest question marks. Manny right. Bowen has experience outside. He's added weight. He's almost 240 pounds. It's hard for me to believe he's not one of their best three linebackers in a couple of weeks, and they can probably uh, spin that any way they want to. I just think that this has been in the works for a while. They just didn't want to talk about it. But it, it does seem to me that if he does play, I think he will play outside. It, it sure sounds like as they get started in camp, Greg, that's either going to be Jan Johnson or Ellis Brooks in the middle. I probably think Jan Johnson has the edge, but yeah. Manny Bowen can help this team, especially because they have freshmen they're looking at that probably aren't right ready. Yeah. They probably aren't ready. Exactly. Yeah, I think you'll see Micah Parsons. I think you'll see Jesse Lucada. I think it's going to be a little bit until we see those guys in action. Though. Two things I wanted to talk to you about is it seems – that James Franklin in the game in the in the paintball war that the team played <laughs> out um, over the summer as kind of a recreational thing. It yeah. was it was kind of everyone picked teams. Everyone on the team was involved. Some coaches were involved. It sounds like James Franklin because he can be a little bit of a hard nose when right. it comes to academics and missing classes and calling people out. He was not a popular guy in this game, and no. he he had the welts to prove it. He did. Yeah. No. Check out Joe Hermit's uh, gallery later on today. It's uh, they were pretty significant, Bob. He took it on the chin, actually everywhere but the chin. It would appear in that game of paintball. So, uh, you know, I think it was interesting though. He did make the point that the way the NCAA has changed the way a number of times yeah. they can practice now, those kind of things that they used to do during camp as a break aren't really in play anymore. So they did it ahead of time. And yeah, James Franklin has the battle scars to prove it. One, one, just a couple notes, just get your thoughts real quick. They, they seem small, but I don't know that they really are. Um, DeAndre Tompkins is working at the slot in the start of camp. He yeah. was an outside receiver and a very good one for Penn State uh, last year. Brandon Polk has been moved outside. DeAndre Tompkins is in the slot with Mac Hippenhamer and KJ Hamler. They want to play three wide receivers. Here's my question for you, Greg. If DeAndre Tompkins, a returning starter, is moving into the slot and they love Juwan Johnson, they're still room on the outside for maybe a really big, fast, tall wide out. Do they have any of those? Who comes to mind? Do they who have any comes of those? to mind? Why would they move DeAndre Tompkins inside? I don't know. Did Justin Shorter come to mind to yeah. you? A five star recruit class of 2018 signee. You wish he could have been here in January yeah. or May, but he doesn't show up till the end of June. So he's just getting the feel of things. But Bob, it tells you, I think, all you need to know about what Penn State thinks it has in Justin Shorter. One final note, uh, Torrance Brown's not going to be ready for the start of I don't camp. think he's ever going to be ready. Yeah, he wrecked his knee pretty good in the Georgia State game. He's still on the team. He was a starter when he got hurt. They're deep at defensive end. Significant injury. Maybe at some point he can help the team, but that's a deep group. Do you think that maybe this could be one of those deals where he it might take a while? Yeah, I would be honestly, Bob, I'd be surprised if we see him at all this year. I just think that we knew it was going to take a long time for him to get back. And the fact of the matter is those are not easy things to recover from. And if you can't get ready until the middle of the season or the end of the season, you just wonder if he's ever going to get ready. But one other note, Braylon Franklin no longer on the team. So long we hardly nice. knew ye. He was a redshirt freshman defensive end, came in as a linebacker, actually played some receiver in high school. They never really had a position for him, and it turns out that it'll be somebody else's job now to find a position for him. Also, I just want to shake your hand and oh, say yes. congratulations on surviving a breakfast yes. at the Keystone Diner That's on right. 3rd Street in Harrisburg. And we're here. Not many people 
could eat at that time of day, the way that you <laughs> ate, and come out here in the heat and perform as well as you did. Congratulations, Greg Pickle. We'll have right. more about Penn State football coming up probably later today and also on Sunday.